Don't say that word. Hi. It's going to be my last video because I know it'll take all day, the rest of my day, to uh, put these together and upload them. January 1st, sorry, January 3rd, 2004. I'm in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> so uh, the landlady had to bring over provisions and she had to shovel her way over because my door doesn't open. Um, any of you who know me are going to be surprised to see this. This is an Opus D. DNA 20 mod. It is wrapped at the moment and a beautiful wrap from J Wraps. He did a nice job. Um, these retail about 250. I didn't pay anywhere near that. I got it secondhand and it works great. So we've got the uh, DNA 20 uh, standard screen. Basically on the screen it tells you the ohm just standing like this. It gives you your battery indicator which is cool. It gives you the ohm of what the um, the resistance of what the tank is on it, um, your wattage, and it when you press the button you'll see the voltage as well underneath the ohms. I don't know if you can see that. If it will, there we go. So when I press the button you'll see the voltage. Here is the button, obviously. Uh, not happy with the button. Not crazy about the button. It is squishy. I would rather it was clicky. <laughs> And here is the dial for changing the voltage. You just It's a little rough for me because, eh, but it works. If you can see, the, it's raised a little bit so you can get your finger in there and, uh, and get her done. So the first thing, I mean, here, it, it, it's a, just a, a standard um, mp3 sort of deal uh, to, to charge it. Uh, batteries are all internal so you don't have anything to change. I got it. I like it. I like it because it's small in my hand. I didn't realize it was going to be that small. Um, it's nice. It's contoured. It feels good. Like I said, I wish the button was a little clickier um, because I when when it's not clicky, you press it too hard. I gotta get used to not pressing it so hard. So it vapes great. It does. But when I asked, oh, it's locked because I pressed the button too many times. So you can lock the button to turn it like so that you can't fire it by pressing it five times. Then it'll give you a message when you try and that it is locked, and it says five X. And it tells you press it five times to unlock it. So there you go. It vapes well. And I am loving it. Would I pay 250 No, I would not. Um, it's a, uh, it's not plastic. It's uh, it, um, what do you call it? Not aluminum. It's the same sort of thing they, they make the Rios out of, I guess. Um, molded something or other. You can't open it to see. I'm not opening it. Um, there's like, a, you can't open it. There's one screw there. This probably slides down after that. Yes. So you can look inside if you like. I ain't doing it because I'm sure I'll break something or screw something up. But, vapes well. Um... I put this out there at a couple different spots after I got it. Not because I was trying to be a snot, but I was asking, what's the big deal about DNA 20? What's the big deal? Like, what, how is this even, how is this any different um, than anything else that's a variable wattage? And of course, the first person says, it goes to 20 watts. You're not vaping 20 watts. I'm sorry. Uh, first of all, it's a wattage, so regulated wattage, right? So if I put this up to 20, right, 
if you can see that, if I press that button, 6.3 volts. So it's going to regulate it down, uh, the voltage down. I don't know if guys like to say bigger numbers, but anyway, you can vape it at, at 20 watts, but it's still 6 volts. Now, much like um, the um, 134, you can pump this up to the 20 watts and it won't give you a burnt taste. It'll kill your battery. <laughs> like I just did that once and I don't know if you remember, you can see where the battery indicator is. Um, but yeah, that, that one vape at 20 watts pretty much killed half my battery power. But it regulates it so that you, you I, I've never gotten a burnt taste no matter how high I put it up. I just get more vapor. So I guess that would be one of the what's the big deal. Um, yeah, the throw down on that is really good at 20 watts and plumes. So I do like it. Um, it's a 1500 mAh internal battery. And I pretty much killed it. <laughs> um, but it, uh, one other thing, when you plug this in to um, charge it, it gives you no indication it is charging. So you don't really know um, because this is recessed. If you're even making a decent connection you have to use um, the standard uh, charger. If you have one of these, forget about it. It's not going in there far enough to make a connection. Um, so get yourself one of the uh, small ones, the small headed ones, so that you can actually make a connection for it. I believe they come with one. I didn't get one because, of course, everybody's got 20 of them laying around. So, so I'm loving it. I use it every day um, because it's small. It's easy to throw in my purse. Um, it's easy to carry around. Like I said, the uh, I don't know if I can get this. J. Raps did a really nice uh, Campbell crest for me, and it's. Uh, it's been working out great. I love it. Would I pay $250 for it even knowing that I love it? No. Um, that's mostly because I'm cheap and uh, uh, other issues are I get just a satisfying, different but satisfying video. So there she loves. Opus D, I am loving it. Show me Godzilla Award! Thank <laughs> you.